What's going on guys and girls? We're here playing some more Metal Gear Solid 5 and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to complete all the mission tasks for mission 13 which is called Pitch Dark. So this mission you have to do at least twice because uh, there are two mission tasks that contradict each other so one of them is extract the four walker gear sealing off the oil field and the other one is exfiltrated the hot zone before the walker gear seal it off. So what you want to do is you want to just go through and do it once and uh, one way and go through and do it the next time the other way. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this mission and complete all the other mission tasks and I'm going to complete it by exfiltrating the hot zone before the um, walker gear seal it off and then the next time I'm going to extract all of the walker gear. So as we're being heli lifted in right here I'm going to show you where some of the things are. So right over here in this village you're going to find the four um, child soldiers being trained round about there. And this is where you're going to find the lapped face of vulture that is in the burnt down village. And then we're going to go and do the other mission tasks. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to extract the four child soldiers. Uh, the way you can do this is you can either have the child Fulton recovery system, which is the level 4 Fulton recovery system, or the wormhole recovery system. Uh, but this way, the way I'm going to do it in this video, because I have neither, neither of those yet, I am going to extract them using a vehicle. So I have made sure that I have a vehicle placed in the area with me, which is one of those uh, four-wheel drive jeeps. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the child children into the jeep and then extract it. Now the reason you have to uh, give, get one in here with you is because of the fact that there is only three spots in the vehicle where a child soldier can be placed and we need to extract four and there is another vehicle in this village that we're going to use to extract the last one. So as we get over here we're just going to make sure we spot all these guys. We're going to take everyone out that is not a child soldier just so that is much easier and no one's going to wake up later on. So there's a guy up in this watchtower right here, so we're just going to take him out with a silent sniper. And there is also a guy down here, uh, right there, and we're also going to take him out with a silenced weapon. This time it's just going to be our normal one. So if you want to just use your normal one, you can do it for both of them. Uh, the, I just have the silent sniper and it just makes it easier. Watch out for any of the claymores that are lying around, the landmines, uh, they can be very annoying. And what we're going to do, as you can see, we have a D-horse with us, so that's going to make it easier to get around the mission area very quickly. And we've also got this jeep that I had deployed with us, so that we can extract the children. Now if you have the child Fulton recovery device, then what you can do is you can just use that. Uh, I didn't know that existed until later on, after I, I had completed Analysis this mission. Complete. And there we go, that's where you can see all of the child soldiers. There are going to be a few adults uh, training them, so you just want to make sure you be careful with those guys. There is also this guy walking down this road here, and if he gets too close he will see the dead bodies that we left. So what we're going to do is we're just going to wait for him to move a little bit further away from that area, and then we're just going to take him out with our sniper rifle. So as you can see, he's got a helmet on, so we just want to make sure we get him properly. I do end up hitting him in the head with the helmet, and then I'm just going to start shooting him again. I'm using more bullets than I wanted to, but it, it works. So as you can see, there's a guard that's standing right there. He ends up walking around a little bit, so that's the reason why I wanted to make sure he, the other guard that I just shot was further away from where that guard could see him. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get into position so that we can extract the four child soldiers. We're going to be using the tranquilizer pistols so that we can put them to sleep and extract them. And we're also going to make sure that none of the other guards notice we're doing that so that we don't get any combat alerts. So what we're going to be doing here is we're just going to sneak up as close as we can. The guard on, to, on the right hand side of me, he is eventually going to be a little bit of a nuisance so we are going to make sure he take, gets taken out as well. So we're just going to wait for him to get out of the uh, vision of these other guards and the child soldiers so that when we take him out he is going to be not of an issue and no one's going to be alerted to our presence. So right here you, can, you should be able to take him out with ease and no one's going to notice. Then we're going to go and go into the tranquilizer pistol. Now we're going to hit them in the body, hit all four of the children in the body. Now because we're a certain distance away you have to make sure you shoot a little bit in front of them as they're moving sideways and then we're also going to shoot the two adults that were training them because as soon as you shoot one of them they seem to just get up and start moving and then as they start falling asleep there should be another guard uh, that should pop around the corner up here and we're just going to take him out with our sniper rifle because he is going to notice the adults falling asleep 
as you can see, everyone's now asleep. There are some, a couple more guards we have to uh, worry about. So the first guy is over here. He's going to be walk, walking down the road here. So we're just going to make sure we take him out as well. I think I end up hitting this guy in the helmet as well. So you just want to make sure you also have bullets in your uh, gun so that you don't end up wasting time. There we go, we got him in one shot and there is also two more guards that are gonna be walking down the road. They are soldiers, not really guards. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use the reflex mode to get these guys really easily. So there's the first guy, we got him, and then there's another guy right behind him and you have to shoot him as well. So now that we've done that, you can just use the Fulton recovery device if you have the child one, which is the fourth one, as I've said before. But this time, because I didn't know that that existed at this time, and I was didn't have it at this time, we're going to use the vehicles to extract the children. Now, as I said, there is another vehicle in this in this village. So what you could do is you could use that vehicle and then use a helicopter to extract the last guy out because you can only fit three children into a vehicle. So what we're going to do is we're going to use two vehicles, the one that I uh, brought us, brought with us into the mission, and we're also going to use the one that is located in this village. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab these children right here and pick them up and place them in the vehicle. Because you can't put any children in the driver's seat, I don't think you can actually put any bodies in the driver's seat. The driver's seat always has to be available for you to drive, I'm pretty sure. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab three of these guys and place them in here and then extract the vehicle and that will also extract the children. Make sure you put them in there and not put them on the ground. So you just have to make sure you're facing the vehicle as I wasn't just then. And we're going to place the last guy in the front seat, front passenger seat. Now when you extract the vehicle, make sure that you extract it from the front because if you extract it from the side, you will end up having the child that is in the front passenger seat fall out because there are no doors on the vehicle. But if, as long as you extract it from the front, then all the children will stay in the vehicle and you'll be fine. So the last guy we are going to extract, we're going to use the second vehicle. Now if you didn't bring a vehicle with you, you can use the second vehicle for all three children and then the last one you use a helicopter to get them out. Or you can of course use the child fault and recovery device as I've said previously. So the vehicle in this village is located just on the road, it's near the exit uh, of this town so what we're going to do is we're just going to place the child in the front of there, in the back there and we're just going to extract it from the front just like we did on the other vehicle. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to call D-Horse because we want him so that we can get to the next locations very quickly. Unfortunately sometimes he starts running off, I've figured out why that is. Uh, if you are running in a direction then what D-Horse will do he will try and match your direction and so that is when you hop on you'll just end up traveling the same direction so if you start just running in a direction and you whistle d-horse eventually he will end up beside you and you can just jump on top of him and continue on in the same direction so what we're doing now is we're heading towards the position of the lapped face vulture i put this marker down at the start of the video so if you want to make sure exactly where this position is check out the start of the video where i go through the map and i just put a couple of markers down one for the child soldiers and one for the lapped face vulture the other thing is that I, there are also going to be time stamps in the description for each of the mission tasks so that if you don't want to watch all of the video or if you just want to watch the bits that uh, you have, are missing then feel free to just check out the description and there will be time stamps for each and every one of these mission tasks. So as we're getting closer to the burnt down village where the lapsed face of vulture is located what you're going to notice is it, because it is a wild animal there may be a slight difference in location depending on how quickly you get here because he's going to be moving around a little bit. So at the moment he's flying through the sky and we he will eventually just land right here. Uh, when I first came through and found the lap face vulture he was on t sitting on top of one of the buildings. You just have to look around the village until you find him. So what we're going to do is we're just going to extract him right here and that will complete the second mission task that we have done in this mission. So what we're going to do is call D-Horse and just find out where he is located and jump on top of him. And I will just show you on the iDroid that I have completed these two mission tasks this time. So if it is a highlighted tick, that means you've done it in this mission. If it is just an ordinary tick, that means you've done it in another mission, but you've also completed it at, at some point in time. If, it is no t if there is no tick in the box, then what will happen is you haven't completed that, and that is the ones you need to complete 
later on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to complete the mandatory mission tasks, which is uh, need to blow up the tank, and then you also need to switch off the pumps. We're also going to do this in a way that allows us to exfiltrate the hot zone before the walker gear seal off the oil field. So I'm just trying to sneak in here and so that we don't get spotted too many times. I think I do get spotted once or twice, but I'm going to use the reflex mode to my advantage to just take out a lot of enemies at once. So as you can see, this is the location that you need to be at. We are going to try and get up there and turn off the pumps. We are also going to place C4 on the tank so that we can blow it up from a distance. So there are a bunch of guards around here. There are lots and lots of guards in this area. So what you want to do is you just want to make sure that you are very careful going through this area. I'm going to just take out quite a few of them just before I end up doing this because I just want to make sure that there's a, as little amount of guards that are going to be moving around as possible. I also want to make sure that hopefully no one gets spotted once they are dead. And this next guard up here I think is the one I'm going to take out next. We just want to be careful of not being spotted too many times. Obviously this guy's now seen me. I'm going to take him out. I think that does alert one of these guys and it's like, hey, what, what happened to that guy? So what we're going to do is we're going to use reflex mode to our advantage right here and just run in and take them all out. So we've all they've all spotted me. One guy there, the next guy is right here, this guy over here, and this last guy is actually a little bit annoying because the other guy just went in front of him. But we are going to get rid of him before we uh, get a combat alert. So now what we're going to do is we're going to lock, uh, unlock this area. This is something that I didn't know until yesterday. Uh, what you can do is you can actually tap triangle and if you're on Xbox you'll be tapping Y uh, and this will al allow you to unlock it a lot quicker. Uh, it's something I didn't know that you could do until someone pointed out in the comments so thank you so much for you two that ex uh, explained that to me. I've had two comments about that. So as you can see, I have placed the C4 on the tank. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the pump. We're not going to detonate the C4 until we are out of the oil field so that we can actually exfiltrate the hot zone before uh, the walker gear seals it off. So as you can see, there is going to be a guard that's noticed this guy is dead. So what we're going to do is we're going to take him out as well. Hopefully you can get it before he uh, alerts anyone. And we're just going to keep walking around this area. So you also got to be careful about the four guards that I killed before because of the fact that there are many more guards walking around that area. I think there are about two or three more guards that are going to be walking around that area that I have not got rid of and that may end up seeing that or may see you run across this path over here. So we're just trying to get there as quickly as possible. This guy is also here so good thing we've got reflex mode to help us out. He is also going to notice that someone's just died. We're going to take him out as well. I'm not hiding any of the bodies just because of time and mainly because most people, most of the guards don't notice the bodies because of the um, the path that they're going along. So just up here we're going to be turning off the pump and when you do that no one is going to notice that you have done that so you can be free to do that very easily. Just look out for the guys down here as you're walking past this area because they can spot you from that distance, um, especially if you're running. So I am just going to check him out. I don't think I end up taking him out, but we might we might just do that just to help us out. He does go behind that area there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go into this room. Now, as, as I said before, you can just double tap tri or keep tapping triangle, and it does speed up the lock picking process. Um, or if you're on Xbox, double tapping, continue tapping Y, not just double tapping, just keep tapping it, and it will speed you up. So as you can see, we have now just turned off the pump. There will be a cutscene that you can skip if you want to, so I just skipped that to make it a little bit quicker. As I come out of here, there is going to be a guy that spots me. As you can see, he spotted me just down there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow him to get a lot closer before I take him out, just because I want to make sure that I don't miss and get a combat alert. So what we're going to do is we are just going to start heading down that way and we're going to eliminate him when he is along the footpath just over around here. He is going to just try and get here as quickly as possible and he's just going to just come up the gates, the stairwell just around here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of him so that we can get out of here. Now from here on I am going to be using my tranquilizer because it is a lot quieter than the gun. Most people won't 
and notice that someone has just been tranquilized but they will sometimes notice if someone has been shot in the face uh we've also got this guy up here he's going to come down and i was going to get him using this but then he ends up coming down towards me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get him using this and i think i'm going to use the reflex mode just to help me out a little bit reflex mode is your friend it does help quite a lot in certain situations like this especially when they're wearing helmets and you can just hit them in the face a lot easier there is also a guard just around here we're going to use reflex mode on him and get him in the face and there is also a guard walking through this area and i believe i might use reflex mode on him as well yes i do to get him as well so we are now going to exfiltrate the hot zone before the walker gear uh, gets here so round about now i would recommend exploding the uh, c4 but because i was trying to do this this is one of the first times i tried to do this and what happens is if you call down a helicopter like i'm going to do and then head towards the helicopter i thought if you just hopped on the helicopter then this would happen then it will just do this uh, this weird little thing but this time it actually if you're just too far away from the oil field when you detonate the c4 uh, what happens is it, what it'll do it'll go great job you've you now just get out of the hot zone and then it will just actually go to black and load this area back again so it'll just kind of move you back i guess that's because there is going to be a cutscene uh that is meant to be playing once you've detonated the c4 so we are just waiting for the helicopter to get closer don't do this what and as you can see it does go fade to black it will try and load a cutscene uh but because i'm too far away the cutscene doesn't end up loading and then it just puts you a lot closer to the area as you can see i'm now all the way back here so what you want to do is you just now want to get out of the hot zone so if you do end up getting the cutscene, just skip it and then just start running uh, towards the area. So this is the first time I've actually tried to exfiltrate the hot zone without being with before these walker gears um, seal off the oil field. As you can see, the walk, two of the walker gears are just running along that area right there. So what you want to do is you just want to use D horse to get yourself out of the hot zone as quickly as possible. You don't have time to wait for a helicopter to arrive. And as you can see we should just exfiltrate the hot zone very soon there we go and that will uh, give you the uh, mission task exfiltrating the hot zone without being uh, with it before the walker gears end up uh, locking down the area so as you can see mission task complete five out of six and we're just going to now complete the last one and uh, that also gave me an s rank doing it that fast and completing that many tasks so there you go that's how you can get an s rank and now we are back in this area i'm just going to skip past all of the starting things because you don't need to see that you've already seen me go through it and what i did is i just sprinted all the way here using d horse and then got into here i've already placed the c4 i'm now detonating the c4 i've turned off the tank and there will be a cutscene as you can see right here as i was talking about before and what will happen is it will be like there will be a guard on patrol and you didn't the c4 and you'll be like oh what's going on back there and then the walker gear will be on their way so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to skip this cutscene so it's a lot quicker the guard that did spot me before is now uh slightly disappeared so you just want to be uh, aware of that so that sometimes they will just start moving and you don't have to worry about being spotted too much this guy right here i think is the guy that spotted me and so what we're going to do is we're just going to shoot him and get rid of him and then we are going to head to the location of the four walker gear so there are two are going to be sealing off the front where I exited out before last time I, I did this and then we are going to uh, find another two of them exactly at the start so where I entered this mission uh, base this oil field at uh, when I first got, went through it so I'm just heading over this way to wait for them uh, the when I do this I do end up trying to take out another guard and then the walker gear do spot me uh, well they do notice that someone is around so they start one of them starts uh, walking around and trying to find me and it kind of goes a little bit um, crazy so hopefully you guys don't have this problem so they will arrive right there and then the other two walker gear will be around here so the second set of walker gear will have another two guards around it these two walker gear are just on their own so you can easily just um, tranquilize them or take them out and extract them so they will come down the road just along here so i'm just waiting for them uh, while I'm waiting for them I do notice a guard up there and I decide to try and take him out but then it all goes wrong because the walker gear do spot me because they do end up getting here pretty quickly um, once they do find you.
So as you can see, I'm just over here. I'm just like, oh, I'll just get rid of this guy like this. And I'm like, oh, I can't, can't actually get him because that, that thing's in the way. So I start walking backwards. And during this time, the walker gear have arrived and they're just going to notice me doing this. So I'm just going to shoot him in the helmet again and got him. He's downed. He's not fully dead. But you can see one of the walker gear has now um, is now aware of my presence and is going to go and check out what is going on. He hasn't actually exactly seen me, but he has just noticed something's very odd. And he's just going to try and check it out. Uh, so I do go through a bit of a stage where I'm like, oh, how am I going to do this? They're usually just sitting here. So just make sure to try and keep them in the same spot and don't let them spot you. It's a lot easier if they don't spot you. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to get this guy and I'm going to show you how you can get rid of them if they, if you didn't get spotted. So you just jump down here. They won't notice you if you're sneaking along. Uh, I do have the wrong thing set up. I'm just going to take this guy out. They don't have helmets on, so you can just easily take them out. And this guy is just, he's just in the wrong spot for me to be able to hit him. And he is moving, so it is a lot harder. So what we're going to do is we're just going to exfiltrate. Are we just going to extract this walker gear right here? I'm trying my best just to get rid of him before he gets too far away. But it doesn't end up happening, so I just end up getting closer, a lot closer to him. One other thing you could do is you can shoot them with the tranquilizer gun. You don't even have to headshot them, you just shoot them both in the back and then just wait for them to fall asleep because they will eventually fall asleep. And if you shoot them multiple times with a tranquilizer gun, then they fall asleep quicker. So if you shoot them twice, they, they do fall asleep a lot quicker. Now I have made sure this guy is uh, slightly aware that I am now here. Uh, I didn't want to do that, but it will show me and show you guys another way of doing this. So what you can do is if you get close enough to them and pull your gun out, you can actually tell them to get off their walker gear and then you can then put them to sleep or kill them and get rid of them. Get rid of the walker gear. So what this we're gonna do, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna extract that walker gear. And now we're gonna head to the second set of walker gear. Uh, so we've got two out of the four and the other two are gonna be located over here. So we're just running that way. You could use D-Horse to get there a little bit quicker, but I just decided to run because I didn't want anyone to spot me riding D-Horse around this area, especially because all the guards are alert to my presence. So here we go. There are the two walker gear. There are also two other guards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and eliminate the two other guards and the walker gear at the same time so that we don't get too many combat we don't get a combat alert basically so as you can see i'm just shooting these guys once uh with the tranquilizer gun and then i'm going to shoot the guys in the walker gear with the tranquilizer gun and they will just all end up falling asleep and what i'm going to do i think i'm just going to wait for the other guys to start falling asleep and then shoot this last guard so that i don't have to worry about him so I shoot him and these guys will start eventually falling asleep. I am going to now try to start shoot this guy. He is eventually going to fall asleep. And as you can see, we have now got the last two walker gear available for us to easily extract. And once you have completed that, all you need to do is leave the hot zone and you will have all of the um, mission tasks. So that's basically everything I'm going to show you in this mission. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. You will uh, run into a couple of guys just along this area here. They are going to be killing a couple of jackals. So you just want to make sure that you don't get spotted by them as you are running past. And so yeah, that's this is now going to be the end of the video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys have ended up getting all of the mission tasks. And now it's time for me to say see you guys and girls. And hopefully see you in the next video. Traded. Right, you're out of the hot zone. No enemy forces in pursuit. Mission complete.